Welcome to today's 3D print. Today we are going to play with the Soval SV01. A, think of it as a beefed up Ender 3 that's supposed to be pretty impressive with a direct drive extruder. So this ought to be fun. Stay tuned. Interior of the box, very well packed, nice cut foam. They include a spool of filament, which is nice. And we have an actual legit manual, so hopefully it's pretty good. We shall see. Stay tuned. In the goodie box, we have our power cable. Well, this is not in the goodie box, but this is the LCD screen for the printer. Definitely a beefy board. Different board. All metal filament runout, end stop, all the tools, memory card, including the nice nippers. That is what came, and of course, the spool holder all came in the goodie box. So one of my viewers brought up an interesting point is that this looks like a Creality printer. I mean, this really looks like a Creality printer. It's got the same captures, same couplers, same motors, same molded plastic cover, um, same fans, same silicone socks, uh, different hot end. The, the hot end is different. Obviously, the extruder is different. This is direct drive. Same wheels, same springs, same plates, same style, same y-axis. So I'm wondering if um, Soval is having Creality make their printers for them. And apparently, it uses a Creality board inside. Nothing wrong with that. Creality makes good parts. But that's interesting. Is Soval having Creality produce their printers, or is Soval Creality? I don't know. I don't think it matters. Looks like a pretty damn nice machine. I'm looking forward to putting this together. Be careful taking it out of the box. This is connected to the other part. You cannot separate them. So it is permanently attached. You got your wire here, it is attached. You can't separate them. So don't go yanking it out of the box. <laughs> but this thing looks solid, and the QC is top notch. None of these are even too tight. The bed is not loose. The bed is not too tight. That's not bad. I think they source a lot from them. A lot of these are Creality parts. I mean, like, interchangeable Creality parts. And again, nothing wrong with that. I mean, take advantage of Creality's economy of scale. They're making so many printers that they could probably supply parts to a printer manufacturer for cheaper than they can source them themselves. So, yeah, smart move. But so far, this is looking great, and I love this um, light blue, um, silky metalized um, anodizing that they're using on the parts. Really nice. I like that blue. So, but looking very, very cool. Let's get this thing put together. A couple things. I like the little switch sticking out on the side here. I really like that a lot. It makes it easy to turn this on and off. I'd like to see more manufacturers use that. Don't forget to check your voltage switch. It's on the back of the machine here. You have a little switch sticking out right there. So you just stick a screwdriver in there and switch it from 230 to 115 and then you're good. One suggestion I'd like to make is to rotate the Z motor 90 degrees. So the plug is facing backwards on this rail right here. Well, it might not look as pretty since the plug is no longer hidden. My concern is this wire popping up and being grabbed by the bed like that. And now that's either going to adjust your bed or it's going to rip the wire right out of the motor. So I would like to see that rotated back by from the factory so it sits on the rail back here. That will keep both the plug and the wire out of the way of the kinematics of the printer. You guys ready for the porn? Am I going to get demonetized for this? Or is this stealth porn that YouTube can't identify? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do it rough. You like the rough sex? There it is. All one piece. <laughs> Remember, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> So the filament detection goes up here. And then the filament runs through the filament detection setup and into your printer. 
nice. So here's the filament sensor. I'm actually going to modify it because the way it works is the filament sensor has a direction. Okay. And the way this installs, it's going to protrude down into my build volume, which I would prefer it not to do. I would prefer it to be like this. So it's outside the build volume. But first, let's take a look at the sensor. It's got a nice micro switch in there. And it's got a restricted path for the filament, both sides, with a roller wheel on the end of the switch. Very nicely done. But if I do it this way, I can then mount it like that and keep it out of my filament path. So that's what I'm gonna do. A little bit more plastic porn. We'll do it slow and sensuous this time. Yeah. Be gentle with you ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so inside the guts here, you'll see the blower fan very similar to what we had with the CR10S Pro, a Creality version 2.2 board, wrong screen, Creality version 2.2 board, and a legit LRS350 24 volt Meanwell power supply. Very, very nice. I like this a lot. We are 21 hours in, so we should be close to half. Yep, 46%. So we are close to halfway done. And that looks freaking amazing. God, I can't wait to see this when it's all done.